show like IoT Tech Expo is extremely important for people to come together and see what's available on the market because there's so much and it helps them to, to get in touch and to talk to the people and to understand what it is they really offer because in IoT, as IoT is very complex, it's really difficult to, to digest and to really cut through the, the details. Uh, specifically because everybody's saying we can do it all and we, we know everything. So people come here and, and understand and it's for people to, in, the, in this ecosystem, to really network and form the partnerships that are necessary to bring the whole thing from like, all the way from the device to the cloud, to bring all of that together in, into one. Well, we've had great foot traffic through our booths and we've met a lot of people and we've been able to talk to both uh, potential customers, some customers we already have, but also some, some technology and service partners. So for us, this is an opportunity to network, not just with customers and get our message out to them, but to get our message out to potential partners, technology partners, people we can work with in the future. It's a really exciting time in IoT at the moment and there are lots of people trying to understand what all the pieces are and who makes them. And a show like this is a really efficient way for lots of people to meet lots of vendors to understand that. There's obviously an inflection going on, There's a, things are getting much more serious. Last year people were asking sort of very hypothetical questions, now people are actually rolling things out. Uh, what's been great is actually showing that product to, to the people, being able to put them on their head and then see their reaction when they actually experiment AR for the first time through the Daiquiri Smart Helmet. I think it's very innovating that they are getting all these smart people together in, in one location to talk about all these new technologies. We've been extremely busy because there's lots of uh, cloud solutions, there's hardware solutions, there's software solutions, and we bring them all together and like we've been like cramped the last two days. Well, I work for an organization called the Bluetooth Special Interest Group. So we're the, the standards body behind Bluetooth technology. I'm actually participating in a panel discussion in about half an hour from now, I think, about communications technologies and their role in uh, enabling IoT. It seems to be very, very well attended. Uh, quite a diverse selection of people exhibiting here in terms of um, different perspectives on IoT, different approaches from a, both a business and technology point of view. So it's good to see that diversity. The main benefit for Microsoft is that we've been able to meet and uh, communicate with lots of large enterprises, not only in the banking and financial sectors, but also energy and healthcare, who are really looking at innovative scenarios around IoT and blockchain. Our member has uh, sponsored the Connected Industry Track and uh, we're able to kick off the day and start the conversations around what industrial IoT means and how should companies just looking to investigate how IoT applies to their business can find the answers and, and that's really been quite a highlight of the show. Lots of people asking the right questions and looking at how really IoT can scale up rather than just be a, a, a stage of experimentation, so good show.